together. And can I tell you, I'm not talking about with just those you know. All right. Say that. Say that. I'm talking about connecting with folks that maybe you don't know. That you can help. You never know how you can plug into somebody else. You never know what your situation or what your testimony can do for somebody else. And when we can get to the place where we can connect, when we can get to the place where we can glue that thing together and let the enemy know that safe, I don't care how you come. Because I love God and God loves me. You can bring it on, baby. Because once me and my sister get together, everything is going to be all right. So the scripture says that Orpah kissed her and walked away. But Ruth, Ruth fought. Ruth said, I hear what you're saying, Naomi. I know you want to be by yourself. Oh, and that's what I love about her. You know, you got some of those friends that baby, when you're going through and you tell them, leave you alone. Well, that's what you, you want. You said you want to be by yourself. Then don't be by yourself. But guess what? Sometimes I'm saying that out of hurt. Sometimes I'm saying that out of frustration. Sometimes I need you to force yourself on me. I need you to cleave to me and let me know that no matter what you're going through, sister, I know you're hurt. But guess what? I'm going to stick by your side. I'm not going to give up on you. I'm going to trust God with you. And even when you don't want to answer your phone, I'm going to pray until you answer. <laughs> ah, glory. So the Bible says that, that Ruth was determined. Ruth was determined that no matter what you are going through, Naomi, I'm going to cleave to you. I'm going to cleave so tough to you that where you sleep, I'm going to sleep. Where you lodge, I'm going to lodge. What you're thinking, I'm going to think. Matter of fact, your God. Come on, somebody know. Uh, Ruth was a Moab. Ruth wasn't thinking about no God. But it's something about seeing a woman of God when they're in their strength, walking through and doing the right thing. And then when storms come up on them, to see them discouraged, it'll turn you that way. You know what? That woman of God was strong. That woman of God loved on God. And here come a situation to take her out. It'll make somebody else want God. God, I need you to help her. And she didn't even know God. <laughs> So the Bible says that she cleaved to her. Yes. And so I just stop out on tonight to just encourage somebody. Stop kissing folks and start cleaving. <laughs> Kisses are sweet. But guess what? They don't satisfy. Ah, uh, you know the, the story when Judas walked up to Jesus? He already knew that he was going to betray him. He could have stopped him in that very moment. But he already knew. That's not enough. God says, I need people that want to come together. That know how to work together and know how to flow together. Know how to do what it is that God needs you to do. And so I don't have a whole lot on today. I just stop by to tell somebody. Baby, find you another woman. And get connected. Brother, find you another man. And get connected. Get connected so that God can use you to go out and save a dying world. Somebody needs to be saved. And sometimes it's better for two to go than just one. Two means to be on one accord as well. Two means to be in a rightful place. Sometimes it's better for us to just get connected. And oh, if we all can get connected. What a time. What a time. What a time. God bless you.